Matthew 24, verse 43. These are the words of Jesus. But understand this. If the owner of the house, what are we talking about in this series? The house, right? If the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. I'm going to encourage you to circle some words there on your notes. If the owner of the house, circle that phrase, the house, your house, okay, had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would, he would have kept watch and would not have circled this phrase or underlined it, let his house be broken into, would not have let his house be broken into. Let's, let's look at this, message, this, this verse for a moment. Jesus said, if you knew that a thief was coming to break into your house. Let's say you received a text message this afternoon from your local thief. He says, hi, I'm your local thief, and I'll be at your house at 2 a.m. this morning. It's coming morning. I'm coming to steal everything you got. I've done it all around your neighborhood. You're next on my list. Okay. So you get this text. You believe the validity of the text. What would you be doing about 1 a.m.? If he says, I'm going to show up at 2 a.m., some of you even before that, you'd have all of the Montgomery County Police Department at your house, right? Okay. We're going to catch this guy. Why? Because you know when he's coming. Here's the thing we have to, you have to realize. When it comes to our spiritual enemy, you don't know when he's coming. Okay. You don't know when he's going to show up in your house. And that was the point that Jesus was making. He said, you don't know when I'm going to come. You don't know when a thief is going to come. Jesus comes as a thief in the night, but there's a thief coming to your house, and you don't know when he's coming. And when he comes, he wants to break into your house. Notice that phrase I asked you to circle or highlight or underline a moment ago, break into your house. The actual Greek rendering of that term means to dig under the foundation and dig through your house. So here's what you must recognize. When the enemy comes, he doesn't all, generally always come with every, all of his full force at once. He comes little by little and finds ways to dig in so he can get his claws, his influence in your house it's a process where we let him in that we need to now shut down. You need a spiritual security system because there's a thief that is coming to your house. I promise you. Our houses are under attack. Our lives are under attack spiritually. Again, I don't say that to make you afraid. Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Aren't you glad for that, okay? So this is a, not a message about fear. It's a message about warning. It's a message about sobriety. It's a message about real, reality that we are under attack. We must grasp that truth or we'll never do anything about it. 